Hello everybody, welcome back to more Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, and look, I finally look like my thumbnail. I finished the Rathalos set off camera. I would actually say that I think the Gore set is better, so I'll probably still switch between the two, but at least I have it now. And also this is the first video I'm recording since the first free pack of DLC was released. There's going to be monthly releases for the foreseeable future at least. This first one added a whole bunch of stuff for low rank and high rank. We'll probably be doing a bunch of low rank stuff for the next um, co-op night that you'll be seeing in the video after this. It also added episodic stuff that we start from the housekeeper here, so I haven't actually ever done this. So I have downloaded it, so episode selection down to business. Let's see what actually happens. Well, I'm not currently on one, so sure. I assume we'll get some- someone has appeared in the gathering hall. Alright, so I guess we have to go to the gathering hall. The other reason I wanted to record today, while fighting all those Rathaloses off camera, I actually unlocked some more there's Ice Cream Van in the background for those of you who listen to it. I unlocked some more dialogue at the Wyvarian Trader and also the head of this village. And I don't know what they're going to say, so let's find out. Wait until you hear this, Hunter. Coco Toe's farm circulation has increased. Now you can acquire many more wares with a single transaction. Lucky you! Oh, is that it? That's all you had to say? I should have just done that myself. Sorry, I thought it was going to be another villager request, although on that subject, didn't I have one to do? Oh, I need firestones. Those are irritating to get in low rank. I was getting some for weapons off camera as well, actually. Alright, and there's no new... nothing there. Let's see here. So now I can get dragon toadstones from there. Is that really it? No, oh, I'll deal with that later. Anyway, let's see what the village elder has to say as well. By the way, the thing we're going to do today is the urgent I already unlocked. But we'll get onto that in a second. Welcome back, Hunter. How did it go? Did you see any frenzied monsters on Heaven's Mount? I've still got one of those hunts to do. I haven't done the Zenogre yet. But no, the answer is no. No sightings, huh? Well, good. That's one less piece of bad news. Sorry for the trouble, but I sure do appreciate this little po oh, I forgot he just makes up words. <laughs> Looks like the lady in green is trying to get your attention. Oh, her again. Yeah, I hear her. Is she, is she looking this way? There's actually two people to talk to. I think the other one may be the man. No, it's this guy. Hello there, how are you? Me? Well, I must confess, I'm a bit troubled. A strange wind has been blowing up on Heaven's Mount as of late. Something just isn't right. A crazed Kongalala that does explain a lot. Including why you made those frequent trips to the Mount. Thank you. Did you know there is a sanctuary on Heaven's Mount? Long ago, the creatures there fought and killed each other off in what was known as the Calamity. Accounts of the tragedy survived in oral and written history. Some describe a god that descended from Heaven to punish the mountain creatures. Others speak of a baleful wind that carved the mountain black. The Calamity was said to originate where the Sanctuary now lies, but the truth is any first-hand witnesses of the Calamity are long dead, and none dare approach the Sanctuary. Oh, before I forget, the Guild Marm was looking for you. Have you caught up with her yet? Stop telling me to go speak to her, she's insane! Oh, I actually missed a bit of dialogue. We're going to the Ancestral Steep to investigate something, that's what she said. Hunting for catchphrases. Alright, Guild Marm, what are you going to blather on about this time? Hold on to your britches. The guild has just issued a mission of the highest importance to every hunter. Okay, I'm a, I'm a little excited. Are you ready? We get, to get, oh God. we get to go hunt the Tigrex or Tigrex. I'm not sure which is the correct pronunciation. I think Tigrex in English, Tigrex in Japanese. The bane of every hunter. Isn't that the truth? The unwritten page of in my notebook. The, mis, the monstrous hole in the monsterpedia. That is my heart half half. Got a little bit carried away. According to the guildmaster, the guild will pile accolades upon the hunter who pulls this mission off. However, it calls for more caution than other hunts. Extreme caution. I wonder what all the fuss is about. Alright, so do we have it? Is that classed as a urgent or just a five star? Oh, it's just, an, it's just a regular hunt. And, yep. Yeah, it's got that warning there, which means that it's frenzied. Oh, good. But that's not what we're doing today. Today we are going on the urgent. So it's to hunt the Yanguruga. The bigger, noisier, badder young Kaku, essentially in Everwood. So we'll take the hunt and then I'll go eat. And we'll just use what I'm wearing. Why not? I forgot to go over it, but it gives you attack up medium and it doesn't quite give you enough points to get fire attack annoyingly. And it gives you negative to how much HP you get back, but I've gemmed that out. So all you're getting is more attack. Well, that's good though. But I value the challenger and whatever it was called, biology on the Gormagala set, much, much more. Oh, and I have health up because of the decoration, nothing to do with the armour. I have the talisman, rather. So... Does this guy use fire? I think it's just poison he uses. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it's just poison, actually. So what we could do then is... Go for Oracle, we don't need. That'll do. Oh, and also, before we finish, I will go over the low rank hunts anyway that got added in the DLC. I don't know what they were. I don't have access to the high rank ones yet, so I don't think I can look at them. But we'll swing by the guild hall after I am done here. But it's a shame. The two things I'm most interested in, the link armor plus his weapons and the clockwork insect glaive, which was designed by a player for... that was the American prize. I think the English prize was one of the low rank weapons. And it's high rank. They're both high rank, which is irritating. So it'll be a little while before I get to look like Link or use a badass mechanical insect glaive. I don't remember fighting young Garuga very much. Oh, I also I upgraded Victor's equipment. He's using the Rathalos armor and the Rathalos weapon. I haven't got the helmet yet, though. Yeah, I remember needing them and being annoyed that they're so rare in Everwood. I can't remember what I needed them for, though. I want to say upgrading something to do with Gormagala, but... Maybe I'm wrong. Either way, maybe I should have brought capture equipment to max out how many stuff I'm going to get here because we're in Everwood. Um, paintballing is not really... No, there's no point doing that here. Let's just go... We'll get a cutscene when we are in the right place. I can't actually remember the cutscene at all. Which is right here. I wonder if it's just a more evil version of the young Kukku version. So I was familiar, familiar with this one even prior to playing through 4 because I had fought one in Freedom Unite. Or I fought a few actually. Hello Conchu, not going to wave at me today? That is a young Kaku, don't get distracted by him. He's running away as well, you see. <laughs> and there we are as well! <laughs> So you can definitely tell the size difference right there. Yeah, <laughs> run chicken man, run! Yeah, that's his poison tail, which I believe I will definitely bounce off with, bounce off of even with green. And we're straight in, with him charging at me. He is quite a big one actually. The music's a bit overly dramatic for him, to be honest. But yeah, he's going to poison me an awful lot, but luckily my cat should handle it. And that's the little, like, pulse, sonar pulse thing he loves doing. Now, I assume I have to hit your beak, but you're slightly too high for my bug, annoyingly. Oh, you do still do fire. I should have eaten for fire defense. Oh, well. Oi. No, bug. I want red. Smack him in the face. Ah. I hate when monsters are just tall enough that it's a problem. Got it. Oh, I am actually hitting the tip of his tail and not bouncing. Oh, there's a sonar pulse, but that's not going to affect me right now, buddy. Staying evasive is a very good idea against this guy and not pushing your luck. That's the other advantage I would, or tip I can give. Leave Victor alone. Scared him off, in fact. Oh, I misjudged that distance. He actually did quite a lot of damage for just a uh, pushing over attack. Oh, Victor's back already. He is raging, actually. That's... Hmm, no man. Alright, just go for damage then before this buff wears off. Why are you picking on my cat so much? That's a mount. Surely that's a mount. That was not a mount. <laughs> that is. Can't remember what this guy likes doing. That's a thrash. Yeah. Oh, straight into Aurora. You cheeky git. Oh, he's got me. Yeah, I was not expecting going straight into Aurora. Next time I will. Alright, as a matter of principle, now I will mount you successfully. Ah, you get right off the very tip of its poison tail as well. 
Oh yeah, that's what I don't like about it. It's um, ground pokes are lock on, as silly as that sounds, but he locks on with them. Like that. He tried again, but luckily I was I had enough momentum that it didn't matter. He always does two as well. Now, where did I get white off you before? Wing, perhaps? Yeah. Now let's just go back to kicking your ass a little bit. Alright, I'm bouncing off the wings, apparently. Oh, there's Puritsu attack. Oh, I knocked him over. Nur nur! Yeah, you bounce off the... The body of the tail? I don't know what to call it. The middle bit of the tail. Matter of principle! Well, I did damage because I heard my attack landing, but it's a bit weird they knocked me back. I'm hoping that he's going to change area soon because I'm going to need to sharpen real soon. He's raging again. That's right, I'm going for Mount Spam purely because I dislike that he got away with stopping me. Um, his poisony bit didn't make contact with me there. I'm very glad for my cats, put it that way. Oh, that didn't get used because he did his auto lock on BS. <laughs> I get sick of saying that in Isaac and then I have to fight that here too. I lost my buff super quick too. That's a mount. That is not a mount. Alright, well you know what, rather than going for damage, I'm going for sharpen. Oh, he recovered too quickly because he's raging. Screw you, young Gruda. Screw you. Don't know who that was on, but it wasn't on me. Oh, he, oh he's going to throw Conchu at me, maybe. Or he's going to eat one, anyway. He's knackered. Alright, plenty of time to do this. Alright, ding ding round two, or are you going to leave? What are you doing? Are you going to throw up? I wanted him to fire Kunchu at me. Go on, go for it. Oh. That's a mount. Alright, after the thrash, he goes straight for a roar. That's not going to matter. I can just fill the bar. Screw you. Revenge is had. Let's see if we can break that other ear of yours. There we go. I imagine he might actually be close to death now. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking like... Kutku, and he is not Kutku. Damn, I lost red buff pretty quick there, didn't I? Prong, you're still raging. You're a very, very angry purple dragon chicken. Nice. What, do you think you're a Rathian or something? That was him saying yes. Watch out for him poking his head in. That's a change of area. Yeah, it is. And because it's Everwood, his shadow just literally vanishes. So, well, this is the very first room we came in, right? So, he can only be further in. So, this way. There's no point paintballing in Everwood unless you're wanting trap sense. Or have trap sense and want to know when he's ready for capture. He's in here because the music's playing somewhere. Oh, there he is. Still raging, my god. Geronimo! Yeah, I would be angry too if I was getting my ass kicked by a Rathalos wannabe. Oh, broke something else, but I've got no idea what. Once again, still raging. Are you just in a permanent state of being pissed off? Are you the internet? Oh, Kinsight kill. Nice. There's a shiny over here. I'm determined to find it without skipping the cutscene. There we go. I got a first aid med from Victor. Thank you, Victor. I appreciate that. Oh, I thought it was Conchu climbing, climbing down the walls. It's not. It's the Warrior Aptonos or whatever they're called. Atta I don't care. <laughs> Alright, we've got a Garuga scale. And next we got his shell. 
I assume we'll get some kind of... Don't you dare knock me! Got another skill. And if we're quick, we might be able to leap back up there and do some mining before it ends. Maybe get ourselves a weapon. Well, I don't know if that can happen on hunts where you're just sent to Everwood without seeing the, um... What do you call it? Excursion? That's not the E word, but it is an E word. Excavation. Nah, we didn't get anything. Oh well. Yay! Happy dance! With the desert like millions of miles away, all the way in the distance, just uh, two blue dots and one red pixel. Scale, shell, wing, and... Oh, did we get any ear bits or anything like that? Oh yeah, we got his beak and we got his ear. Nice. I'll take all that, thank you very much. And that'll be the first young Guruga on the scoreboard. Average height. Or average size, I guess. Yes, now he'll randomly turn up in Everwood as well, although very rarely. He's in the, the rare monster pool, not the common ones, I think, anyway. And they might have changed it for for you. I just remember needing to fight him a lot and him never being there when I wanted it to. Let me just quickly check and see if he's there now. Oh, Expedition, that was where I was looking for. No, he is not. There is a Poogie that needs saving if I wanted to go there, but not right now. So we didn't actually get anything for doing that then. But let's swing by the guild hall and I shall show you the low rank DLC hunts. By the way, all DLC is free. So I'm not saying... Oh yeah, we had this guy to talk to, I totally forgot. So who the hell are you? You are the transporter. Ah, Hunter, a moment of your time. Don't look so cynical, I won't bite, I just want a word, yeah. They call me the transporter, why? I, I know it's like transporter, but I'm trying to put in the purr. It's obvious, nah, I make my living transporting barrels. For what purpose? Well, how else would your caravan colleagues get their paws on the supplies you need? Me and my barrel get packages to wherever they need to be. But we're not here to talk about my profession. I'd rather talk about my problem. You see, I come here from a little village called Yukumo. That's from Portable Third, right? Which has become something of a holiday spot. In fact, I heard a whole host of tourists are planning to visit Yukumo in the not-too-far future. Naturally, the villagers are running themselves ragged, cleaning the hot spring and washing the towels and such. Ugh. I thought I'd do the old village a favour and help deliver supplies they need. I hit a bump in the road, literally. I wanted to get the goods to Yukumo as fast as possible, but in a hurry I hit a rock, road tripped, and my barrel-bound wares went everywhere. And then something happened, something that makes me deeply ashamed. A gang of thieving Melnicks came and pinched my wares, can you believe it, my own kind. But you know what they say, Hunter, revenge is a dish best served by a hunter with a sharp weapon. Yeah, they say that all the time around these parts. Help me deliver ten secret stashes. Ugh. Yeah, you have to beat up them and get the secret stashes. But don't smack them too hard, you have to use a weapon with rarity one or lower. Alright. They may be thieves, but they're still my own kind, then you don't want me to be mean. I will devour their souls. Anyway, it seems like they're in the dunes. Oh, that's the new map! That's like a G-rank map, right? So, this could be an easy way to see a, a new map. Bonus cash grab. You need to be the one to initiate the quest. Ah, so you can't really get help, or if you can, you have to do it for everyone. Alright. And this is a three-part quest, I believe. Did I send anybody out on a mission? I already have, yeah. So, do we start that from the low-rank person as well? Hmm. What did she just say was radiant? <laughs> They're all insane, these people. Right, event quests. So, these are the ones we'll be doing in the next video onwards for a little while, while I'm playing with my subscribers in the next club night. So there's a Poogie King, Young Kutku, and that gives you a Poogie Hunting Horn. I can't remember what the Fan Club Remover Removal gives you. Oh, it gives you a pair of like chapped jeans and, uh, and a t-shirt. Said it's weird stuff. Sandblasted is Slea, Darren Moran or Repella. That gives you EX versions of his standard gear. So I think it's like a switch axe, a uh, great sword, and something else. That might be fun. And then there's also a Universal Studios Japan High Fire Act, which is two frenzied Rathaloses. And you earn a Universal Studios Japan costume for yourself for that. That actually looks kind of badass. I think there's a sword as well. That's going to be the most difficult of the low rank hunts. Now, I didn't see the special hunt that that lady, cat, whatever mentioned here at all. Is it a high rank one? They won't even let me talk to her, will they? 
Yeah, I, I, I don't even get to see the high rank quests. Unless it appears in the solo stuff, but I don't think it does. Challenge quests? No. Arena quests? No. Hmm. I should have paid more attention to what that cat said. I don't know where you go to start it. Will you repeat? Oh, it's a high rank quest. Right, that's why I can't see it. Yeah, so I, I can't speak to the NPC who will let me see it. And that's why it's on the new map, because it's high rank. Alright, well, I can't see that right now, so we'll probably keep this episode short. And as I say, we're going to be doing the DLC stuff and carrying on with getting more HRs on the online side of things. What are you talking about here? A monster ticket. Yeah, whatever. So thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you did indeed like it. And subscribe if you want to see daily gaming stuff, including more Monster Hunter 3, 4, damn it, 4 Ultimate. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Ta-ta. For now.